Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? We'll appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. The way you guys are notified every time I pump out a new video. You can see we're in a different part of the tackle room that you don't normally see, but I thought it was kind of fitting for today's video. Today we're going to talk about speed versus power. All right, guys, before we jump into today's video, I want to let you guys know that TJ81 shirts are available again, but having some more interest in them, so we're going to make another order. Just like last time, I have to reach 25 orders before I put the order in. So uh, just like last time, we do have red, black, and royal blue available. I've added white, military green, and sand. So six different options. I do believe is 25 bucks per shirt, seven shipping, and then it's two bucks extra if it's a 2XL three bucks extra for a three XL and so on. That's what she gets charged for the bigger sizes. That's what she's charging me. And I'm just charging it right back to you guys. So anyways, uh, info will be down in the description. You guys can email me if you want one or message me on Facebook or Instagram. And uh, like I said, you won't pay right away. I'll just keep track once I get 25 orders, then I'll contact you back for payment and then we'll get them ordered up. All right guys, power versus speed. Now there's going to be a bunch of different opinions on this. Feel free to leave those down below. We can all read them. We can all learn from them. Okay. This is just my opinion. You know, I see guys that only use seven speed reels, only use eight speed reels, and they recommend those reels to everyone, even beginners. I just feel there's better options out there, um, especially for the beginner. You need to pick the right gear ratio reel for the technique that you're using or the circumstance that you're in. Okay. Now, years ago, Years ago, it was all about the power. You talked to a lot of the old timers, man. They all believed in the power. Even like pitching and flipping mats, they believed in the power. You got hit in the mat, they took you down to the mat. You could use the reel like a winch to get yourself out. These days, using a 8, 9, 10, 16, 20 speed, whatever they got out there these days, you have zero power in the reel, in those faster reels. Now, that being said, a lot of guys like the faster reel to hit them and get them out of the mat before they get them in it, right? That works as well. I'm just saying though, you just do not have the power to winch them out like you do with a, with a slower reel, okay? Again, there are advantages and disadvantages to both. Now, if I'm cruising the banks, you know, pitching docks, lay down, stumps, things like that, and I don't really have any thick cover around, I'm definitely going with a high-speed reel because the more that you're in and out of the water, the more chances you have to get bit. So it makes sense to go with a faster gear ratio reel. Okay. You guys know majority of the time I got a crankbait in my hand, right? I admit it. I have issues. Okay. I have issues. I love cranking. I love it. Okay. Crankbaits, spinnerbaits, chatterbaits, underspins. I love moving baits. Okay. Now, not with all those baits, but with most of those baits, like big spinner baits, maybe deeper diving crankbaits, which I don't throw a ton, but we'll just go ahead and put them in the, the mix here. You know, with big spinner baits and big crank baits, if you try and crank all day with a, with a faster reel, it will wear you out. Okay. You don't feel any uh, fatigue at all with a five or six speed reel because the reel is doing the work. Where with those faster reels, you have to do the work. And after a while, you will get fatigued doing that all day, cranking a 6XD or double Colorado blades all day, you will feel that with a faster reel, or you will not feel that with the slower gear ratio reel, okay? So for me, like I said, majority of the time for my moving baits, I do like a six speed. Now there are some situations where I do like a five speed. You know, years ago, five speed was all I really used for my spinner baits and my crank baits. And then I did bump it up to a six speed, but I do feel, especially like in cold water, I still overwork the bait. So in some situations, I do want to go back to a five speed just to help slow me down. But for the most part, a six speed reel is where it's at for me for all my moving type baits. Okay. Now when I'm going to work the bottom. Again, I believe in the faster reel. Okay. Just because if you're going to toss a jig, Texas rig, something like that, something like that on the bottom. Okay. They're using the rod to work the bait. So you're just using the reel to pick up the slack. And let's say the fish picks up the jig and they come at you. Again, you have more speed to catch up to them versus a slower reel. 
So again, big advantages to a faster gear ratio reel when you're working the bottom. Now, even when I'm working like jerk baits and top water, again, I'm using the rod to work the bait. So again, I do like the faster uh, gear ratio reels just because again, I'm using the rod to work the bait. The reels just picking up slack and if they come at me, okay? So you can see the advantages to both. Now, if I'm gonna recommend one reel or one gear ratio reel, I feel a six speed is the most versatile. It's right there in the middle. It's not too fast, not too slow. You can fish all your moving baits on it and you won't be fatigued like you will with a seven or eight speed. And you can also fish the bottom with them as well. Again, may not be as fast as some, but again, it's still fast enough to get it done. Okay, so if you are on a budget, you only have a combo or two and you wanna be more versatile, I do feel you're more versatile with a six speed versus the faster reels. Again, it's gonna come down to personal preference and things like that. But for me, a six speed, I feel, is the most versatile gear ratio out there. So in a nutshell, guys, moving baits, I like a five or six speed. When I'm working the bottom, top water, really anything where I'm using the rod to work the bait, I'll go fast. Anyways, guys, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something. Don't forget to leave some comments down below on your opinions of the subject today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, smash the thumbs up. We will see you guys on the next one.